Excuse me, guys. Could I be having a look at the, the games over there? I'd be interested in almost taking them all. Okay. Yep, no worries. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Ah, uh, great. You know what the craziest thing about today's video is? I had absolutely no intention of going into this thrift store. I was just simply driving past. It's not a normal thrift day for me. But what you're about to see is arguably my greatest thrift haul ever. So this all came out of the one store. It only took about 30 minutes to do. If you take anything away from this video today, ask your thrift store staff for items out the back. That's exactly what I did. I saw it, I wanted it, I asked for it, and I got it. Let's roll the footage. Let's kick off this big, big day in the shoe section, guys. And we've got the Nike Air Zoom men's running shoes, US size nine, pretty much like new condition. They should turn into about $50. The Converse for four bucks, I'll definitely be taking those. They typically turn into about $40 for me. So look at that, two pairs of shoes for $90 already. And you can throw these ones into the mix as well. We've got the Adidas Supernova ST women's running shoes, pretty much like new condition, should get about 60 for those. So guys, $150 out of three pairs of shoes. The DVDs, well, we've got $1 day happening in this op shop, so we're going to do pretty well in here. Have a look at this stack. Grey's Anatomy Seasons 1 to 14. Believe it or not, guys, I should be able to get $150 for this set. I've never found it before. Absolutely blown away to see Seasons 1 to 14. I think there's 15 in total for Grey's. So I've almost got a complete set there. Always looking for TV series, and I've got a few to pick from here. We've got Grumpy Old Men series one and two, and the complete collection, so I had to buy both of those. Hogan's Heroes, now I've got four out of a total of six seasons to get a full set there, so I'm gonna try and sell them off for about $40. And then I've also got Heart of Dixie here as well, seasons one, two, and three, I believe. Um, so they should turn into about $40 as well. This one, Kavanaugh QC, I've got the complete series here of one to five. I get $45 every time I find this one, so that was a good little pickup for three bucks. And then the Agatha Christie, didn't really know too much about it, took a bit of a stab on it, only converts to about $20. Bones, season one to 10 as well, should get 100 there. So that's $440 worth of DVDs. But this is where the magic really happened. I noticed out the back, all of these video games getting pulled out of the box, and I had to ask the question. I had to get in there because I knew somebody else would beat me to it if I didn't. Excuse me, guys. Could I be able to look at the, the games over there? Oh, okay. I'd be interested in almost taking them all. Okay, yep, no worries. So it was just a case of waiting it out, letting her price up the games and give them a bit of a clean until she brought them out. There is more than this, but I don't have time to do them. Okay. Do you want to have a quick look at it? Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. So I was shocked, first of all, because there are a lot more games in this tub than I first thought. So I was really keen to have a bit of a dig, and the first thing I spied there, you might have seen it, Ratchet Gladiator. Anything Ratchet and Clank goes really well. There's definitely a few games in here that aren't worth a whole heap of money if you tried to sell them off individually, but I was thinking about bulk purchasing in the sense of putting them into bundles with consoles and selling off the games that are worth quite a bit of money Thank individually. You. So that Ratchet and Clank Nexus game that I've just pulled out, that one as an example was worth about $70. So it was a really good bundle of games here and a real opportunity to make some really decent money. But before we could even work out a price, she said she even had a few more. Ah, uh, great. You're so Okay, tell me what's another Yep. 64. Yep. 65. Wii games are fine, yep. 66. Yep. 68, 69, 70. 170. Well done. Sure. Yeah. No, I'll line up and 
Are you going to pay? Cruise on out, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate all your help. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. guys we have made the great escape because somebody was coming in to pick them up within 20 minutes of me being at the checkouts and he actually walked into the store as i was at the register and he well you might have heard it. he walked by and he went that's okay no worries but he would have been shattered and it's all about timing i always go in and i'm always either on time or i'm just off and i miss out or sometimes like today i come away with it and I've, I've never spent $170 on video games in an op shop before. You just don't see it. You don't come across it. And here I am coming away with 80 or 90 games. It was just unbelievable timing. So uh, really nice of her to, to do a price of $170. All the DVDs that went along with it, I thought that was going to be the highlight of the op shop. Uh, and then obviously the video games happened. So uh, three pairs of shoes as well, $220 spent. Well over $1,000 worth of research, well over, uh, maybe even $2,000. I'm gonna go back home, price it all up, and I'll let you know just how much we are able to skewer, secure in the best op shop run I've ever had. Have a look at that stash. Coming out of just one op shop, here are the numbers here. I've gone ahead and I've comped them all up. We had 71 that was under $15, 24 of them that you're seeing right here that was over $15. So in total, 95 games found in the thrift, $170 spent. It works out to just $1.80 per game. Some incredible stuff. So what I've done here is I've put out all the ones that are worth anything worth listing individually on eBay down the bottom. And everything up the back there is just gonna be put into a bundle with a certain console. Um, so over here, we've got the um, computer games. They didn't comp out to be worth anything at all. So I've just left them alone. Uh, two Nintendo DS games that would go with a, a DS console if I can find one. Uh, Mario Kart sold for, well, will sell for 20. And then we've got two $15 ones there as well. So not too bad on the DS. A heap of games going into a big console bundle coming up for the Xbox 360. Can't wait to sell that. Uh, and then we've got a couple of winners here in Prey for 15, Grand Theft Auto 4, always a winner there with GTA, uh, 15 bucks. And then Modern Warfare 2 comped out at 20 bucks, which I thought was interesting. Uh, another good bundle coming up for the PlayStation 2, just need to find myself a console. But um, we've got a couple of winners here in the video game. So I will quickly say anything from Ratchet and Clank sells really well, 24.50 and 20 respectively. And then we've got Spyro for 17.50 and then a couple of $15 winners in those three as well. The Nintendo Wii, this was an absolute surprise. There's gonna be a very big bundle coming up here with those ones there, but Kirby's Epic Yarn, $60. I've never heard of this game. Couldn't believe the comps on eBay. Let me know if you've heard of this one. Uh, that will go on to sell well. Mario and Sonic, I've sold that a number of times. You can get about $16. At the PS3, again, as you're seeing here, Ratchet and Clank, this one's one of the best games we found. $70 on that one there. And then this one as well, a crack in time was for 30 bucks. So Ratchet and Clank games do very well. Surf's up to 20 and a couple leftovers. Uh, only the two leftovers out of the PlayStation 1 consoles. Um, these games here are absolute crackers. So Monopoly 18, NASCAR 2000, $28. Uh, Road Rash, which was a bit of a surprise for 35, but have a look at this. We've got Spyro 2 and Point Blank, 50 bucks a piece. So awesome there on the PlayStation 1. They were definitely the best. As soon as I saw them come out, I got pretty excited. Uh, PS4, that's going to be a nice little sports bundle. And then we've got Drive Club for 15 bucks there as well. So guys, look, 95 games, $1.80 each. And when you add all of the ones up that we're going to be selling off individually, that adds up to $600 on eBay. Plus I've got a stack of leftovers that I'll do in consoles. That'll go on to sell for quite a few as well. When you add the shoes of 150 bucks, 440 here in DVDs and $600, not accounting for all those uh, games that we're putting into a bundle, that's $1,200 worth of resale value. Found here in an op shop that I was literally just passing by, about to go home and not even go in. So I'm absolutely glad that I went in. And in total, I spent $220. So 220 bucks into what will be $1,200 worth of eBay resale value is just unbelievable stuff. So 
Hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. Media. I am hunting down media from here on in. And now my next mission is to go and find some consoles so I can pair up all of those additional games that I've purchased. Let me know in the comments below if you're doing any media, any DVDs or video games, and let me know what your best find has been over the last little while. It'll be great to hear from you in the comments below. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Another picking session complete and a lot of listings still to come. So I'm going to jump onto that now, but I'll leave you with this one here, which is all about how to sell DVDs on eBay. It's a big one for me. Absolutely love doing it and that is exactly how so thanks for being here guys my 30% club is that stick around to the end you guys are the best we'll see you soon